Okay, so in this particular example, we want to attempt to see if we can add uh, the first couple of even numbers that are less than uh, or equal to 10. So essentially even numbers from 0 up to 10. Um, this is a bit of an iffy issue with the description of the problem in slide number 43, but we'll fix that. <clears throat> okay, so first up is we, we do the, the usual. We, we need to make sure that we uh, specify the... Uh, appropriate directive, so the data directive and the text directive, and then we'll, we'll just save this file, um, give it an intuitive name, uh, add even numbers.asm. Um, and of course, for good measure, the global main directive as well. Right, again, just copying across the, the steps here just to help us. Uh, to uh, use them help guide our way through the problem solving uh, process itself. Uh, so step one all the way through five. So identify the initial values, identify the conditions, and then implement the loop body, modify the initial values, um, and then we'll repeat the loop. Um, <clears throat> and again, just to mention that some of these uh, kind of steps are embedded within um, pre-existing steps, like for instance, identification of conditions, I part of uh, um, step number three, so is step number four and number five. Um, so for us to identify the initial conditions, we need to figure out the range of numbers that we're working with. In this case, it's numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, and 10, right? So what we obviously need to do is identify the initial conditions we'll be working with and, and really, it's pretty pretty intuitive in this in this case, uh, but we'll get to that in, in a minute. In terms of the condition that we are going to be working with, essentially we want to stop looping once the value is greater than is greater than ten. Um. <clears throat> right. So in terms of the conditions. Uh, Obviously, we need to load the value 0 into 8 because into register 8 because 0 is going to be our starting point. The first even number is 0. Um, uh, and then we're going to load the value 10 into register number 9 uh, because this is, this is the value we're going to use to get out of the loop or to kind of terminate the loop. Right? Remember, we are interested in printing uh, the sum of even numbers from 0 up to 10. So 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus, um, plus 10. Trying to see the best way of, um, of doing this. But so we'll create our, our loop body there, right? So that's step number three, implementing uh, or implement the loop body. <clears throat> um, and so we know that we, what we're interested in doing is get into this uh, label and loop through it, but then only branch out of the loop once the, the number that we're working with is greater than 10. Um, so in this case, what we're saying in line number 17 is, uh, will branch if the value in 8 is greater than the value in, in 9, and then we'll, we'll branch to uh, exit level. And so in exit level, what we're doing is making uh, use of system call code number 10 to gracefully exit the program. Um, and then we need to figure out exactly when, uh, oh, so we'll stop the, the, the program there. Just refactoring the code here so that uh, it's, you know, more elegant and easy to read. <clears throat> so we also need to figure out exactly how we're going to go about modifying the values, right? Uh, and obviously, just forgot to initialize another value here. We need to specify the register that is going to hold the <clears throat> cumulative sum as we are iterating through the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh, as we are moving through those numbers, we want to add the next number to the sum. So initially, the sum is obviously going to be 0. Right? Um, so what we're doing in line number 16 here is essentially saying, okay, fine, to 
the value that is in sum, we're going to, to get that value and then add, add the, the value that is in register eight, the, the even number that we are, or the number that we're working with at that point in time, right? So if we are working with zero, for instance, we'll get, it would be zero plus zero because the value in 10 would be zero, right? And the value in eight would be zero. <clears throat> and then once we get to two, uh, we add two to zero uh, successively. Okay, and then modification of kind of uh, uh, initial values here is pretty easy. We know that uh, uh, successive even numbers um, uh, are two more than the previous one, so it's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, up to 10. Um, so for us to modify the initial value, um, which is in the register, we obviously would have to add 2 to the value of 8, right? So once we're working with 0, once we're done processing the value 0, we add 2 to the value in, in 8, and then we'll be working with 2, and then once we're done processing 2, we will add 2 to 2, we'll get 4, um, and then once we're done with 4, we add 2, we get 6, and then 8, and then finally 10, right? At which point uh, we'll get to 12, and then once we check 12 with the condition in 15, it won't hold and then we'll exit the loop, right? So that's a modification process. And for us to repeat the, the, the loop body, obviously we just take advantage of the unconditional branch, so B uh, even loop. And you notice in line number 20 is what we're doing there is we're going back to line number 13. We're telling the program we need to say we want to go back. Once we're done with the processing between 14 um, and 19, go back to 13 and then restart the whole process, looping essentially, repeating the loop body. Um, so at, at, at this point, I guess it'd probably be a good idea instead of exiting and printing it in the exit label, uh, in the exit label label, I guess it would be best if we just, uh, define what I'm doing in line number 22 here is, uh, attempting to define a new, <clears throat> a new label that will help us print the sum, right? Because remember the sum is in register 10 here. Uh, so um, the, the best way of approaching this is you, you loop through, so, so you, you execute the loop between, you execute the code between 13 and 20 <clears throat> until you're done processing all the even numbers. Um, and then you get out of that loop. But once you notice that when you get out that loop, you haven't yet printed the the sum, right? The, the question here, the question requires that we print out the sum of the, the, the even numbers that are less than or equal to 10. Um, <clears throat> so we have to figure out a way of printing the sum itself. A couple of options here, we can print the sum by, um, by making use of the exit label. So, uh, the code that's between line number 24 and 26, I believe. So we can probably slot in um, the printing of the, because essentially the sum is an integer, we can print out that particular integer within the exit label, or alternatively we can define a, a new label whose sole purpose will, will be to essentially print the, the sum itself. Um, not sure if this is making sense. I mean, the the second option, the one of you know implementing an additional label, is more elegant because you want exit label to to do just one thing and exit out of or enable the graceful exit of the program itself. Uh, so you don't want to pollute it with additional you know uh, additional code that um, will be responsible for the printing of the integer itself, right? So. Again, the decision of what to do is dependent on, on you as an individual, what you feel comfortable doing and what you think makes the most sense. <clears throat> um, in certain instances, perhaps what you think would be more efficient and effective.
I, I guess we just have to go with um, implementing an additional label. So uh, what we're saying here is uh, at some stage, you're going to have to get out of the even loop um, to print the integer itself. <coughs> And so line number 23 and 25 are essentially the things that we'll have to work with for us to be able to print this, this sum itself, which is in 10. Remember the, the sum of the even numbers, uh, the, the processing of the sum is taking place in line number 16. Um, so I just attempt to execute this and try and see if it will work. Probably won't work because uh, once we are done processing line number 13 to 20, we uh, actually exit exit the loop so like I said the best option here will, um, best option here is to implement a new uh, implement a new label that will use to essentially do what's in line number 23 to 25 so just Cut that out. So, line number 23, I'm saying we're going to implement a new label print even. Right? So, it's going to print the even number. And everything that uh, we previously had will be put in that label. Now, notice once we do this, what we'll have to do in the even loop uh, label is we would have to to actually branch, line number 15 would have to branch to line number 23. So we need to um, replace that exit label with print even, right? Um, and then within print even, this is where we do the exit itself. So once we run that, we see that the um, the sum of the first, uh, the sum of uh, even numbers that are greater or equal to 10 is actually equal to 30. Um, let's see if there's an easier way of testing this. I mean, obviously we could probably use a calculator or something, but maybe Excel, I mean, a spreadsheet application, maybe Office Calc in this case would be appropriate to you. So uh, what is the result of adding 0, 2, uh, 4, <clears throat> 6, all the way up to, up to 10? Um, you notice that if we do our summation there, we actually end up with the same answer which is 30. Okay, so I hope this this kind of uh, makes makes a little bit of sense. 